everybody and welcome back to War Thunder and here we are the A36 Apache very very infamous plane in this game for being well it's the same case with most um, early mid American planes in this game let's just say it's a little bit too good um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing well of course it's not a bad thing if you're flying one of these things but going up against one of these things it's not too much fun. But they're not invulnerable. I think in the right hands it's a very good plane, but just the same with any other vehicle in the game, in the wrong hands it's pretty useless. So what is this mysterious airplane? This is the A36 Apache. It is, uh, for all intents and purposes, the attack variant of the early Mustang fighter. Uh, the Mustangs before they were fitted with the Merlin engine, so the early ones. Um, so, by attack variant, I basically mean um, it has an air brake to assist with dive bombing and such. And that's kind of it. <laughs> it differs from the early Mustang in game by having different armament, having six 50 cal as a standard instead of the 420 mils. But in actuality, there were several early Mustangs which still had the 650 cal. So, basically, it is just a Mustang but with an air brake. Um, and it's at a lower battle rating and it gets the attacker spawn so um, yeah you decide on what's overpowered and what's not so uh, there you go and if that wasn't enough for you then you can increase the firepower by adding two sets of gun pods pushing the total number of 50 cows up to 10 and a battle rating of 3.0 that is more than enough to uh, decimate anything that you are likely to come across. So, uh, yeah, um, it's no wonder that people actually enjoy this plane because it's just so darn good at pretty much anything. Uh, most people understandably use it as a fighter, which is what I'm doing here. I've loaded the tracer around so we can uh, see the freedom as we click on the trigger and uh, watch every plane we shoot at burn into a million pieces. And there you are. Put simply, enemies do not stand a chance. And speaking of enemies, there's not actually too many on the enemy team. There's a, a fair few, but it's fairly small numbers. And um, let's just say we're going to be uh, killing the majority of those. So, what map is this? This is the Berlin map. You know, just trying to <laughs> just trying to kill time while we. Uh, wait to go into uh, battle here, you know, this is a uh, RRB, typical RRB moment. A lot of uh, nothing before a lot of something. And yeah, just cruising to battle. Now the flight performance on this plane isn't actually as good as the regular Mustang at 3.7. Uh, I don't know why, I'm guessing it's because of the air brake adding a little bit of extra weight, even without the gun pods on this thing. Um, Flight performance is just that little bit worse. It goes top speed of just shy of 370 miles an hour and still has a decent turn time and rate of climb, making it a pretty competent fighter at 3.0. But look at this firepower. He's already he's already on fire, so I'm um, only trying to nab a little hit on them just to see if I could get an assist. But they've actually put the fire out, which basically gives me the go ahead to go after them. This J21, or this poor J22, sorry is not going to be in much of a good position for much longer. Now there's a BF-109 on the way um, who actually just shot down my squad mate. So things aren't looking too good for us. There's a P-66 but uh, there you go. Easily shut down. want to finish off this J-22 before they return to base. There's a BF-109F behind me and I could either disengage and try and fly defensively or I could uh, continue pursuing this J-22. And uh, I think the answer is pretty obvious as to what we're going to do. And there you go, the trace is showing their explosive demonstrations of how to easily set things on fire. But the situation has turned south. We have a BF 109 F2, or sorry, F1 behind us, and he is slowly but surely burning me up with his tracer rounds. Um, although their accuracy isn't too good. Um, so I might actually survive this, and uh, for some reason they either haven't hit me with it or they've run out of cannon ammo. 
BF-109F1 only gets 60 rounds of cannon ammo, so uh, looking on the bright side here, but they do have a lot of 7mm ammo and they are gradually damaging me more. That one was quite a big hit. Uh, I'm just hoping I can bring them to my teammates so they can get them off me. It's still behind me. <laughs> I'm not sure how much longer I can last like this. It looks like the P39K Aero Cobra on our team is finally jumping in to support me which might finally give me a bit of a break but look the 109F is still right behind me three enemies are on him and it looks like things are finally t turning out okay but nope the 109F1 is still trying to chase me down uh, although they're not really shooting at this point I don't know why maybe the guns are jammed maybe they are actually out of ammo um, I'm trying to get away. They keep getting nose on. They're on fire. Thank goodness. Finally taken care of. Let's just check in on how that plane is actually doing. Still flying. Wow. Okay. Um, though it doesn't look like they're much of a threat anymore. Yeah. And there they go. Speaking of BF-109s, so there's a Japanese one over there. Um, ah. Right. I don't know how the F-2A managed to crash. Uh, he was not damaged at all. And the P-39 crashed as well. So our team is slowly melting uh, about as quickly as uh, the enemy team's is, if not faster. Now let's take on this 109E. I thought they were going to head on me there, but it looks like they're not. Big mistake for them. Well, they're trying to run, trying to fly defensively. Uh, but there you go. The tracer round's coming in handy again. Setting them on fire, and they put on the smoke, I think, accepting their defeat. They actually put out the fire. All the bit that was on fire just fell off. Again, P39K just randomly crashes. Team is not so good this game, must say. And it looks like the 109 is going to be going down from that. Ooh, yeah, that's not looking good. There you go. That is kill number three for the Apache. Now, where are the enemies at? There's three bombers on their team and a KI-61. I am moderately damaged, but nothing too critical, so we're still pretty flyable. And I also have um, a decent selection of ammo. This is an American plane, after all, and I thought I was about to get buzzed by an enemy plane, but no, it's just one of the AIs flying around. Well then, I'll take that. Now, three of them enemy planes are not much of a threat. The uh, one fighter that they had still alive on their team has just crashed somehow. Um, it's a bit of a goofy game. I swear like four players in this team have just crashed with no one being credited for their kill. So, um, yeah, pilot error very much so. Oh, hello. Here's the first of the three bombers, the B6N2, a development of the B5N2, the Kate, the famous Japanese torpedo bomber. This one, the successor, has two rear gunners instead of one. But it still has no frontal guns, so it's not exactly much of a threatening aircraft for me. But the kill's a kill, and I will gladly hunt them down. Now I just gotta land a hit. They don't exactly have the best of protection, so one hit's all it's gonna take, but for some reason I can't actually hit them. Um, it's almost like they have a deflector shield. And there you can, oh, you can start to see the gunner trying to do something. The agility on the B6N2 is very good, and they are evading my guns for the most part, but once I hit them, it's all over for them. I don't actually have much ammo left now, however. But the Leo has been spotted. Uh, they are trying to have a go at that uh, AI plane. They do actually have a frontal gun. Now I've got to make these uh, bullets count, and while I am hitting them, I didn't... Oh, nearly got hit by their 20 mil. I actually forgot they had a 20 mil in that plane. I've actually run out of ammo. It's not my best aim there. Um, I'm just going to have to hope MiG-3 over there finishes them off for me, which I'm pretty sure they will. Now we begin the flight back to base because, well, a plane without ammo is not that much use to anyone. And I quite fancy getting another kill. And they take down the Leo. Somehow I don't get an assist for that, which is... Um, Quite unfortunate, but what can you do? Hello, is that the last plane? Uh, it might be. It doesn't have a marker, so I haven't spotted it. It might be an AI, but I, I don't think so. It's trailing something. It's moving quite slowly, as if it had just come away from bombing one of our bases. 
but no, unfortunately, it is actually one of the AI planes. And, uh, well, that's just bad luck for us then, isn't it? And then you get to the uh, the interesting part about ARB, uh, which is what makes ARB a little bit more unique than any other game mode in the game. You get this melancholy time about halfway through a stalemate of a battle where everything just kind of relaxes. No one can find each other. You get a chance to rearm and repair and start round two. You get a chance to plan your next move. Um, some people don't like that about ARB, fair enough. If you want to get to the point, then get to the point and play a different game mode. But um, for the more tactical players among you, then ARB is probably the c correct uh, game mode to pursue. Well, we found the runway, so that's good. Uh, we are coming in quite fast, however. Over 300 miles an hour is not the correct landing speed for this airplane. Uh, just got to slow it down. There you go. You can see the air brakes coming into play. A lot of people forget that this plane actually has air brakes. Um, they, they can come in quite handy. Uh, and not just for dive forming. Um, if you want to do a silly landing like me right now, then yeah, go for it. Or if you want to, um, well, just use an air brake in the same way that any plane that has an air brake would use it, uh, like a jet, for example. And, oh, not the ideal landing. Uh, <laughs> definitely not the ideal landing, but thank goodness that didn't get much worse. Um, we do actually have a fairly significant repair time because, as you can see, our plane is rather banged up, let's just say. So let's just speed up this repair time. And here you are, rearmed and rearing to go. Or am I? No, I actually J out or leave the plane and uh, change around my armament layout. There's only one enemy plane left, and um, it's going to be more about speed than firepower. So as you can see, I've actually removed the gun pods to give me that little bit of extra mobility because I don't think I'd need ten guns to shoot down a Wellington. So, um, with our speedy lighter mode, um, we are raring to go, and we're up and away. Now, spoiler alert, it does take quite a while to find this last guy. Um, it's like playing high, uh, Marco Polo, but the uh, person saying uh, Polo doesn't say anything. So, <laughs> you're just shouting Marco and getting no response. Uh, so, understandably, me and the MiG-3 assume that the enemy is at the enemy airbase, because usually when you can't find an enemy, they've gone back to their airbase, and they're trying to repair and rearm and stuff. Uh, this is a Wellington we're talking about, so um, they can't get too far, and they can't be too hard to spot. The MiG-3 is drawing the attention, rather probably unintentionally, uh, of the AA from the base. And now it started to shoot at me. I am just within the range of the uh, AA, so I've got to be careful here. Oh yeah, side note. Uh, while I did speed it up, we did actually shoot down a couple AI IL-2s on our en route to the battle. Just thought that was worth pointing out, just to score us some a few extra points as a bonus. But still no sign of this Wellington. We're going to win either way. There's not much time left on the battle timer. Uh, so this Wellington pretty much has no hope of winning. But um, me, understandably, wanting to finish the game now rather than in six minutes time, I'm quite keen on finding the Wellington. There is the larger airbase over there. Maybe they have landed at that one. Well, time to find out. If they have, there's not much I can do about it because even if I dive down on them, um, the airbase AA will just chew me up. Nope, doesn't look like they're there. But hello, what's that flying over the river? Oh yeah, I think we found us a Wellington. The last person alive. Thought they could get away, that is definitely them. Two engine, medium... Oh, I guess the Wellington was a heavy bomber for the time, but overall, throughout the span of the war, it is a medium bomber. Now, unfortunately for us, this Wellington is pretty much in the worst possible place for me. It's right between the two airbases. 
I don't know why. I assume they'd taken off from the bigger one. But I'm going to have to risk it. Gonna try and seal the deal. Get a fire, get two fires, and... Aww. Ah. Right, okay. We have actually perished. And there you can see the Wellington... Um, uh, sort of dead, but not really. <laughs> um, the fire actually reignited. And unfortunately, we don't actually get the kill on the Wellington, so we don't actually end up getting an ace, which is kind of a bad news situation. But four kills is no slouch in this aircraft, and let's be honest, that would have been a fifth kill had the timer gone a little bit longer. But there you go. Four kills in the uh, definitely not overpowered uh, A36 Apache, the... Uh, the beast at 3.0, the Mustang in sheep's clothing, I guess you could call it. Uh, it is it is just uh, the Mustang, but with different guns and an air brake and at a lower battery rating for some reason. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I won't complain. I do enjoy playing this vehicle quite a lot. It is very fun and would recommend. And that's all I've got for today. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button and comment down below what you think of the A36 Apache. Is it a vehicle you like? I imagine it is. And uh, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, please feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. And uh, check out some of my other videos, especially the one yesterday. Well, yesterday as of recording this, the uh, assault tank video, which was quite good. So do check it out. Until then, take care and I'll catch you next time with some more War Thunder Games.